In this video, we will explore the development of the ribs and sternum. We will cover the formation of progenitor cells, the specification of rib segments, and the role of signaling pathways, mechanical forces, and genetic factors. We will also discuss the implications of malformations and potential therapeutic approaches. During embryonic development, somites are transient structures that give rise to various tissues, including the ribs and sternum. The formation of the rib and sternum structures involves intricate crosstalk between somites and other embryonic tissues, particularly the ectoderm and mesoderm. Through paracrine signaling and direct cell-cell interactions, somites induce the differentiation of surrounding mesodermal cells into rib and sternum progenitor cells. This process is regulated by various signaling molecules, such as bone morphogenetic proteins, BMPs, and fibroblast growth factors, FGFs. The precise spatiotemporal regulation of these interactions ensures the proper formation and patterning of the rib and sternum structures. In the molecular mechanisms underlying the specification of rib progenitor cells, various signaling pathways, including WNT, Notch, and Hedgehog, interact with transcription factors to determine the fate and identity of these cells. The development of the rib cage involves the formation of distinct rib segments, each with unique characteristics and functions. These distinct rib segments exhibit specific gene expression patterns that contribute to their individual identities. Through the regulation of transcription factors and signaling molecules, differential gene expression patterns are established along the anterior-posterior axis of the rib cage. These patterns dictate the formation of different types of ribs, such as true ribs, false ribs, and floating ribs. Understanding the underlying gene expression profiles and regulatory mechanisms is crucial for comprehending the formation and diversity of rib segments. Non-coding RNAs NCRNAs, are important molecules that control gene expression during embryonic development. In the development of ribs and sternum, specific NCRNAs called microRNAs, miRNAs, and long non-coding RNAs NCRNAs, play regulatory roles. miRNAs bind to messenger RNAs, mRNAs, and affect their stability and translation. Certain miRNAs are known to be expressed during rib and sternum development and contribute to important developmental processes. Uncrinas, on the other hand, interact with chromatin and transcription factors to regulate gene expression at different stages of development. Understanding these regulatory uncrinas helps us unravel the intricate gene regulatory networks involved in rib and sternum development. WNT signaling is important for the development of ribs and sternum. It regulates cell proliferation, differentiation, and growth. Proper activation and regulation of this pathway are essential for normal rib and sternum formation while dysregulation can lead to developmental abnormalities. During rib and sternum development, mechanical forces exerted by tissues and fluid dynamics in the embryo influence complex morphogenetic changes. Cells sense these forces and activate signaling pathways to regulate tissue remodeling, contributing to the shaping and elongation of these structures. Heterotopic ossification is the abnormal formation of bone in soft tissues. It can occur during rib and sternum development due to dysregulation of key molecules. Understanding its mechanisms may help identify therapeutic targets for related disorders. The hedgehog signaling pathway is essential for various developmental processes, including the formation of rib cartilage. During rib development, hedgehog signaling plays a critical role in chondrocyte differentiation and the establishment of the cartilaginous template. Activation of hedgehog signaling leads to the expression of key transcription factors, such as SOX9, which regulate the proliferation and differentiation of chondrocytes. Proper regulation of hedgehog signaling is vital for the correct formation and patterning of rib cartilage. Dysregulation of this pathway can result in skeletal abnormalities, highlighting its crucial role in rib cartilage formation. Neural crest cells, NCCs, are migratory cells that play a crucial role in the development of ribs and sternum. They migrate to these structures, differentiate into chondrocytes and osteoblasts, and interact with other cell types to form cartilage and bone. Malformations of the ribs and sternum can impact respiration and structural stability. This can lead to respiratory difficulties, compromised lung function, and an increased risk of spinal deformities. Understanding these implications is important for clinical management and interventions. Congenital rib and sternum anomalies result from genetic and environmental factors. Mutations in genes involved in development and maternal exposures to teratogens can disrupt normal formation. Diagnosing and counseling affected individuals requires knowing the etiology of these anomalies. In the video, we will discuss the regeneration of damaged or malformed ribs and sternum. This is a complex challenge, but new therapies offer hope. Tissue engineering, stem cell-based treatments, and genetic interventions are promising approaches. We will explore how these strategies can promote tissue repair and correct genetic defects. Join us to learn more about the future of rib and sternum regeneration. In conclusion, the development of ribs and sternum is a complex process involving various cellular and molecular events. 
Understanding these mechanisms is crucial for unraveling anomalies and developing therapeutic strategies. Exploring genetic and environmental factors helps us gain insights into this fascinating field.